good morning. It's Saturday. It's Saturday, no school today, because it's bank holiday weekend. And I'm already so bored of bank holiday weekend. Thursday Friday felt like a Saturday, and Friday felt like a Sunday, and now it's Sunday part two. <sighs> and it's not exactly great weather today. Well, it's a bit chilly. Anyways, plan for today is I'm off to Cowbridge. Obviously gonna look in the charity shops there. But also we're meeting up with the lovely Jordan. Clapham 1994. Go give him a follow and all that shiz. And uh, yeah, gonna have some lunch and a bit of a mooch. Cause why not? It's a little bit further to the bus stop than, uh, than it used to be. But that's okay. That's okay. Anyways, let's go. My mum loves it there. We go there at Co um, for our girlies' day out card um, at Christmas time. Don't know why I'm still talking. Hello. <laughs> and then we're gonna go shopping. Yay! So what are we gonna have to eat? One of each. I don't know actually. Mm. Oh my God! Look at that. That looks amazing. Oh, I very rarely buy anything from there, to be honest. Very rarely.
looks kind of like that. Uh, a little bit of vinegar on a toothbrush. Dark green. We're having a conversation about crisps. Yeah, cheese. Cheese moments. So so. And, and fries. Like um, scampi fries, but cheesy. So there we go. Yeah. Sorry, big cup in the way. <laughs> so we say hello. Should I say hello, Jordan? Or just say hello. You can say hello. <laughs> hello. It might even be funnier like the second time around. But we're now in um, Happy Days, which is the lovely like uh, vintage place. And we're having a coffee and Jordan's having a muffin. Lemon muffin. Lemon muffin. But things what we have bought, bought today, we started off slow and then mm -hmm. by the time, like in the last charity shop, is when we actually bought some stuff. Yeah, it was everything in the one shop. Yeah. Oh, no, apart apart from, this is the only thing I bought in another shop. So I bought this Art Deco brooch for 2 99 which is rather handsome. So that's cool. And then in the Dogs Trust, got this handsome chap by um, Little Folk is called. He was a fiver, but I think he's absolutely gorgeous. Look at his face, with his little twisted snout. He is lush, I love him. Like he really is well so, he is well, so lovely with his little hunting jacket. His shirt as well. He is so cute and his button and his tail. <laughs> <laughs> he is lovely. Um, this which isn't as exciting, it's like the puppet I company. I don't know why you bought that. Because I've seen That's Carla, like I'm sure I've seen Carla pick up the same ones and then sell them for lots and then I look this one up and it's not so much. But anyway, he's kind of fun. Someone will he buy him. No, he should have a squeaker, but he doesn't have a squeaker. Maybe he's meant to squeak him. Can you sell that as new? I probably wouldn't. But anyway, he'll still make money. And then I did buy the Christian Lacroix bag. Mm -hmm. What's the bottom like? Is it, yeah, it's, it's it is brand new, isn't it? Yeah, it's new and it's blue inside and it's got its tags and everything. It's even not the silica gel. Yeah, even the silica gel is still in it. It's not obviously like it's like the TK Maxx brand of Christian Lacroix. Um, but I quite like it. And I may or may not keep it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But that is all I bought today. And what did you buy, Jordan? I bought two things. I'm not even sure what this is. What is it? So it's an opal triplet. Opal triplet. Right. Oh, with camera there, there we are. It is very pretty. Sparkly. Yeah. So it's a nice stone in gallery wire. And I was under an iron about this. I knew what it was. Beauty. But it's a retro Game Boy. What do you call them? Yeah, just call them see through. Yeah. Like, with the charger and the charging pack as well. And the fact that it's in the special yeah, it's in the original case as well. Nintendo, so that's pretty cool. Nintendo, Nintendo branded case. So that was 15. But you said I could even sell that. Like, and for even the spares and repairs, bit. like you'll make money yeah. on it. It said it was working, but I've tried to have a go with that, like charging pack but you probably need to charge up the charging pack yeah, yeah. but um yeah even if it's i think i think you'll you know i think there's money in that for sure mm. it might need a little clean up i might need to like open mm. it up and clean it a little but bit. also it will attract buyers to your store as well something yeah. like that because you know retro gaming if it works, and I can buy some cheap games, I might keep it for my time. Just need to get Tetris and Mario, <laughs> yeah. honestly, that's all you need for the Game Boy, because they are the best games. If it had Tetris with it, I would have snapped that up <laughs> for myself, because it didn't have a game with it, I'm like, nah. I'm all about Pokemon, right. Pokemon games. Uh, po Pokemon, I think, which one was my favourite? Pokemon Blue on the like Game Boy Advance, hmm. I really like. Game Boy Colour on that. Oh, yeah. the Advance, so they the ones with the Advance the, was the... the Oh, no, 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 it was the Game Boy Color, Color, I think. God, what one did I have? I, I no, have a I'm one, sure. Like a green one. I can't remember. Anyways, I remember nearly completing it, and I was down to the last boss, and I, you have to, like, get out of the cave, but there was a Snorlax in the way. Oh. And it was like, right, you need to play the fruit, flute, the magic flute, to awaken the Snorlax so that he moves out the way of the cave. And I'm like, right, I've got the flute, I've played the flute, and the Snorlax wouldn't fucking move. 
Why? I don't know. And I went through, I even went as far as like buying the walkthrough of it to oh see what I had done wrong and I had done everything right. Was this back in the 90s? It, was, it well. was just like a glitch in the game. It was meant to have moved and it didn't, so I couldn't complete the game. That's and I was like, there is no way I'm starting it all over again. <laughs> Right. Yeah, you so can just I say you completed it. You did, yeah, exactly. You did complete it. I, I, it was a moral completion of you the did, game. You did what was asked of you. Yeah, so. and literally yeah. it was just get out of the cave, go to the next thing, beat the boss, done. So yeah. I was like, so close, so close. But anyway, it's been a good day. This cake is so nice. Is it? Mm. It's making a mess, <laughs> but it's so nice. You're allowed to make a mess, it's fine. <laughs> but it's, we've had a, a nice little wander around Cowbridge and seen lots of doggos, yeah. which is also nice. Proper dogs as well. They do have yapper dogs in Cowbridge, but a lot of them, because this is farming town, have proper dogs as well, which is good. We like a proper dog. Mm. Big dog. Big dog, proper one. Anyways, I'm gonna finish off the coffee now. And the cake. And the cake. So now we're at my sister's and Cooper wants to show us the fish. What's that? Oh. Looking lovely. Cooper wants to show us the fish. I want your coops. And they're your friends. Your fishy friends. Where are they? <gasps> Look. Aww. Aren't they pretty? Aren't they pretty? You like them. I do like that speckled one. He's very Shabunk. cute. Shabunk. He's lovely. You like them? You like them? Yes. <laughs> uh, Cooper and the bubble machine. He's like, I'll catch them one day, these infernal bubbles. <laughs> Where are they going? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> In the missy moo. Like the stupid dog, she said. <laughs> oh dear. Silly puppy. They're not under there. <laughs> you mentalist. <laughs> Hello, it is now the next day. Yes. Um, time kind of got away from me yesterday. Um, I was at my sister's, like you saw, and then we had some tea and we raised a toast to Quiru. And then I came home, had a bath, went to bed. Exciting stuff. That's why my hair is of mega floofness today. I'm a lion, you know? Anyways, so I thought I would do my sales from the weekend. Well, actually they're from like Wednesday, Thursday and beyond because I just haven't done any posts for the last few days and it's been quiet, which is gutting. I mean, I've got 30 going out, but it's still like, that's not, that's not great. I think eBay are definitely a tinkering again, as well as it also being so many other factors. But anyway, never mind. So I'm going to go through what's um, going out whilst also having. That is not a good cup of coffee. I might get another cup of coffee in a bit. Um, and then I'm going to do my post. Um, and then I'll show you my spatchcock chicken. <laughs> right, what's going out? Okay, so we have got a Southwestern style copper, pure copper bracelet, $7.99. A, and we're going this way round. Right. XC Regency style brand. XC is the brand. I don't know what it stands for. I just put XC in the title and it sold for $17.99. So that's cool. A Treaty uh, Ethnic style bracelet, £11.51. Another Southwestern style bangle that went for £12. Dessert. Um, a, this is the brand Maddox Street. Tweed blazer with a lovely paisley inside and in there. I think that one of the buttons is shaped like a little fox. That went for £30. I've had it for quite a while. I had it priced up at like £47, but I took an offer of 30 because it's been there for a while, so why not? Um, two 
kind of industrial sort of style of bracelet, £16. A little faux pearl bracelet, £6.39. This kind of chunky brass look, brutalist kind of ring, uh, £9.99. It's on the floor, I can't be bothered to pick it up. Um, a job lot of rings, about 45 rings, went for £11.99. And then a job lot of 10 brooches went for £7.99. In this box is a pair of um, Chelsea Football Club, I'll show you actually, earrings in sterling silver. Here we go. That went for £20. And then an Art Deco style brooch, £10. Very pretty brooch that. A job lot of key rings went for £6.99. A Bohemian um, mixed polished stone necklace, £15.99. A Gemini sterling, sterling um, stainless steel, that's what I'm thinking. Adjustable ring went for £7.50. Some opalescent glass teardrop, opalescent, see opalescent. Glass teardrop earrings, seven ninety nine, a plaited European charm and sterling silver like clasp bracelet, seven pounds. The little drawers have gone for twelve pounds. A job lot of pendants. Again, I won't be bothered. I can't be bothered picking that up. Um, went for £16, this bovine bone ring, £7.99, um, oh hello to Valentina, hi Valentina, um, has bought some brooches as well for £10.19, uh, so abalone inlay, sterling silver, stud earrings £10. Um, this has gone to Kelly. Is it our Kelly? I don't know our, if it's like our Kelly. Anyways, hi Kelly, if it is you. Um, but a Hulkcrist, um apple-shaped necklace, £10.50. A job lot of watches, have gone for £15.20. This Blenheim Palace, um, um, whatever they called, were, 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 Wentworth puzzles. I bought for 50B, it's gone for 19.99. It's going over to America. There's color length gold tone necklace, £16.79. A job lot of vintage costume jewelry, £29.99. This mother of pearl necklace by Mandel, it's gone for £15.29. A pom or peace of mind necklace, it's gone to Claire. Hello, Claire. And this is made of clear quartz um, and sterling silver for eleven ninety nine. This Celtic shield and abalone brooches are going together nineteen pounds fifty eight. And this little sparkly ladybird gone for eight pounds fifty. And then over on Etsy, I had a sale of um, just a little sterling silver necklace with this like little sparkly little run of gemstones. Very pretty. So I'm going to pack it that up whilst listening to Suede live at the Royal Albert Hall. And I will be singing along the whole time. Post all done. I thought I'd just show you my um, my outfit of the day. Um, probably my top, like two quid ages ago. But this skirt. Ta-da! It was a fiver from charity shop. It's um, a high-waisted pencil skirt, and I've I've never worn a pencil skirt before, like not since school I think, because pencil skirts tend to like hug round there. But I mean, look at that! I've got I've got one of them like bigger things. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna even though it's raining, I'm gonna pop out and do my post. Um. I need to dye my hair, don't I? Yeah, pop out, do my post, and possibly pop soon, mate, not sure. Popping everywhere, who knows? Okay, hello, Nia. Hello, Nia. There we go, and we say to Nia, like, don't, 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 don't have 
things to do with boys because boys are trouble, aren't they? Exactly, we don't like boys. They smell weird as well. Yeah. Real bad. Yeah. Uh, it's all rainy outside. Never mind. Just Never mind. It's not raining inside. And we've got chicken. Oh, look at that skin. Beast. I've just been watching um, Pistol, you know, the Sex Pistols thing on the Disney Channel, which is just random, but quite enjoying it. Hey, Yasmi. Yeah. Um, now, I think I'm going to dye my hair, but which colour? So, these are the choices. I've got some purple left, some magenta, red, blue, indigo, and the proper blue. <sighs> we shall see. <laughs> Yay. Anyways, bye-bye now. Bye-bye.